Hey there, listeners. So today we are going to listen to Conclusion Band again. We listened to one of their track previously called Shajo Tumi, which we, we really like. Um, and I have listened to their other tracks as well. Um, and this band has a lot of potential. Uh, they recently dropped another track uh, called Porinita. So we are going to listen it together with you and discuss about it. Do you have anything to add? No, no. Let's uh, let's jump into it, and then we talk. Okay, let's get started. All right, all right. Three, two, one, play. The vocals are also pretty nice. <laughs> I love this note. Okay. All right. 
this track reminds me of um, <clears throat> a Pakistani band, uh, the kind of work that they have done. Um, it's a relatively new band. Uh, they were part of Pepsi Battle of the Bands. Uh, the band name is E Sharp. So um, they were, I think, runners up <coughs> or they came in third, but they are also a pretty good band. But this kind of music kind of reminded me of them as well. The first time I heard it, it kind of reminded me of remotely of Nuri yes. and their early days. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are right, Nuri too. Their, their early days. Anyways, yeah, so why it clicked with me in the first go, uh, I, mm. I put it on and in, instantly it clicked because of certain features. First of all, the simplicity of the song, it was very simple, right? The, the guitar chords and everything, <clears throat> very simple. The bass was beautifully done, in mm. the, right? With everything else. The bass, the drums were pretty well done. What I, what I admired the most about this song was the, when I heard this, I didn't know the lyrics, right? And I instantly feel that there was this playfulness uh, mm. charm offense uh, in this song and mm. the guitar solo the guitar solo was also a good example of a very playful communication right a very tactful playful communication uh, and then I went to look up the lyrics mm. and it was indeed um, charm offense it was um, a kind of courting song you know when you would you would be courting someone mm -hmm. uh, you would you are infatuated your mind is not working properly and you would mm -hmm. say such kind of things so mm -hmm. I, I looked up this lyrics a uh, couple of days ago <clears throat> and yeah. Uh, yeah so I mean it, it was like you say this and this will happen you, happen, you yeah. just right you 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 just say and we would make it, i would make it happen or they would make it someone would make it happen you know it's it's a charm offense it's yeah. it's, it's how you it's how you court someone that you are totally infatuated with and you are willing to go any length for them mm. in yeah. a very playful <clears throat> manner yeah yeah so, so whatever so whatever you say is your wish <laughs> you yes. <command> it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. Uh, yeah, the, the, the thing that I liked is how it was translated in the music. Mm. Right? And uh, this is why it, it really clicked. So the music usually clicks with me as, again, when the emotions, the net, the, the message being conveyed it mm. doesn't have to have a barrier of language. Yeah. Right, mm, you're uh, right, the, the, and this was a very good example of it. So, um, first time I, I listened to this track, you shared it with me, I think, a couple of days back when it dropped. Um, I listened to this track, and um, I was taken back a bit by the vocals, but then I went into the comment section and I realized that this is a different singer, uh, not the one who was part of Conclusion Bad initially. And his name was Atif Imtiaz, the, the previous singer. So this is mm -hmm. a new lineup that they have with this particular band. Um, and <clears throat> I, I personally like Atif's voice more, Atif Imtiaz's voice more, because I have listened to Shajo Tomi, and there is also one of their tracks called uh, Odyssey, which is, I personally like that particular track a lot. So why his voice didn't resonate with me or maybe with other um people in the comment section is probably because Atif has more uh, of a Roxy voice. So uh, the kind of voice that you would imagine um, in, in a rock band. And this new singer, oh, he's amazing singer because some of his notes were really well done. Uh, but you do not instantly click, or at least I did not instantly click with him because he's more of a kind, his voice kind of feels like um, uh, suited for the playback kind of songs more melodic um, and not suit for the rock tracks. That's I personally feel. Nothing to take away from the singer, of course. 
but yeah the music itself translated the message perfectly because there were I, I was when I was listening to it first time there were reference to Modi and to Frida Kahlo and all all those people and when I looked up the translation you summed it up perfectly that it's just the infatuation that he's trying to communicate through the song and the instruments complemented it perfectly mm-hmm. uh, yeah uh, I kind of get what you're saying about the vocalist um, for this for this particular song and the, the story behind it and the and the narrative I felt that his voice kind of suited the song mm-hmm. this soft melodic um, voice uh, which is singing about again about <coughs> some infatuation right and mm-hmm. I think it was suited pretty well I mm-hmm. uh, yeah for other tracks there are other tracks which had which has a bit more of a rock element even this mm-hmm. one had it yeah um, but I, I thought that this this was pretty suitable I mean his voice kind of fit really well mm-hmm yeah by the way the the guitar riffs at around two minute 25 mark they always bug me uh because i i thought that i have listened to it before somewhere <laughs> but then i realized that those guitar riffs are actually also part of shajo to me their previous track as well but in in that track it was done a bit with a slower tempo but the the guitar riffs are pretty same and i love that part in uh, shajo to me and i love this the part the two minute 25 mark part as well in this particular track so this band has a lot to offer although I, i'm a bit uh sad that their lineup has changed a bit um but hopefully we'll get to see some more interesting tracks from from them because uh the the, the way they communicate the 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 essence of the lyrics through their music is phenomenal even in the last track shadow to me even through video they did a yeah. brilliant job brilliant right job. brilliant job so yeah. uh, and in this particular track the <coughs> artwork i was just noticing the artwork for the first time hmm. and it has this um you can see uh, a human version or human figure sitting there like a queen right or yeah. something maybe it's for the kalo or something I don't know, mm. but uh, yeah, but they are brilliant when it comes to communication, right? Yeah. The, what they are trying to communicate, and in both the tracks that we have listened to it together, mm. we have seen that they do it really, really well. Yeah. About the about the similarities, I think it's just a spillover of yeah, it is, musicians it is, musicians signatures, right? So, of course, of course. A, a certain musician would always begin with some mm. favorite <coughs> chords or notes and then yeah. take it from there, right? And yeah. somehow uh, you would feel that, okay, it, it's just the shadow of, yeah, yeah, of, of their course. musicality. Mm. This is their signature style. And yeah, it, it's that's why I, I initially I was th- uh, thinking that I have heard it somewhere else in other track, but it was their own track. Which which makes sense, right? So they have a certain identity which translates every now and then, and you would find artists who who have similar tracks, even if not yeah. the entirely same tracks, but similar tracks, similar kind of musical arrangements that they appreciate or they they like doing. So this is completely fine. Yeah. The Anyways, I, I, I yeah, uh, sorry, I I just want to add that I would like to listen to uh, Odyssey their track together someday um i like it a lot and i would like to know your thoughts around it it's a older track i think it was released two years back mm-hmm. well, let's do it yeah we will let's do it. it someday yeah yeah all right all right thank you so much thank you so much uh, for listening it with us once again and let us know your thoughts around this particular track and yeah We'll catch up again on a different track. Thank you so much. Goodbye.